Welcome to Book Explorers. This is where library staff will share their favorite books for kindergarten through fifth grade with videos and fun activities that you can do at home. Each month, we will feature one book for kindergarten through second grade and one book for grades three through five. So keep checking back for new videos. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, a librarian at the Hamden branch of the Denver Public Library. And I'm April. I'm a librarian at the Green Valley Ranch branch. Today, we'll be discussing King and Kayla and the Case of the Secret Code by Dory Hillstead Butler. And we would like to start off by reading a little snippet from the book. This passage is from Chapter 2, and it's called The Letter. So on your screen, you can see two people. These are two of the main characters of the book. King is the dog and Kayla is the little girl. There's a letter on our doormat. I pick it up and give it to Kayla. Thank you, King, she says with a smile. We go back inside. Kayla opens the letter. Her smile disappears. I can't read this, she says. There aren't any vowels in most of the words, Kayla says. You can't make words without vowels. Do you know what a vowel is? I'm sure you do, even though you, you might not know it. A vowel is A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And all the letters are called consonants that aren't vowels. So if you put vowels and consonants together, you make words. And we'll go back to the book. King is still speaking. I don't know what vowels are. And these are the only words I know how to read. Kayla, king, vet, pound. None of those words are in Kayla's letter. Who would leave a strange letter on our doormat? Kayla asks. Isn't that a good question? This is what the letter looks like. That looks kind of hard to read, doesn't it? This is how King feels about it. Do you see all the letters just circling above his head? This letter is really hard to read, isn't it? Here's the clue King and Kayla need to solve the mystery. They discovered that the letter Z equals the letter A. So using this clue, Kayla, King, and one of their friends cross out each letter Z they see and replace them with the letter A. Asking questions about the books your child reads is a great way to check comprehension, and it is also a chance to build their vocabulary and background knowledge. Ask about the characters, the action in the book, or you could even talk about the illustrations and build their visual literacy skills. We came up with these three questions. How does Kayla solve mysteries? I think Kayla solves mysteries in a great way. She makes lists. She makes a list of things that she knows about the mystery, a list of things she doesn't know about the mystery, and then based on those lists, she comes up with a plan on how to solve the mystery. How does King solve mysteries? And how does he help Kayla when he can't speak? That is a great question. How would a dog help to solve a mystery when he can't speak English? Well, he uses his senses. So he uses his ears, his nose, his mouth, sense of touch. He uses those things to help solve the mystery. So in this particular book, he uses his nose, he smells things, he uses his eyes, he takes a look around. And so with those things, and um, once he figures out a clue, he helps uh, tell Caleb by barking. So he barks a lot. <laughs> How would you solve a mystery? So this is where you think back to whenever, let's say you lost something. What did you do to try to find it again? Or if you knew someone who has lost something, did you ever try to help them find the missing object? Well, what did you do to help solve the mystery? Did you make a list of things that you know and don't know and come up with a plan based on that? That might be something that you can try next time you miss something. So 
Let's try writing our own secret code. Secret codes can look like anything that you want. And I found some examples online to show you. Here we have the alphabet listed out. And then there are what looks like little squiggles. So this is, they look like runes, uh, which is a language that uh, a culture has come up with. And so if you look at the different letters, you'll see each of the squiggles look very different from each other, right? So they would know which letter they use. Or you can try this code, which is the alphabet, but backwards. So first they've listed out the letters of the alphabet and below them, they've listed what each letter is supposed to be. Or you can try giving each letter a number or you could even draw a picture for each letter. So if you look at this chart right here, find the letter F and do you see they've drawn a sun? So each time they want to write the letter F, they'll draw a sun instead. So it can be kind of tricky and complicated, but only as complicated as you want it to be. I think for our secret code, we should try doing a number for each letter. So I have come up with my own chart. I hope you can see this. So I've written out all the letters of the alphabet and underneath them, I've assigned them a number. And I wanted to make this simple. So we just went in order. So do you see the letter A? I've written the one right below it. And I've gone on to write letters and numbers until we've gotten all the way to letter Z. And do you see what number we've gotten? Yep, 26. And that means there's 26 letters in our alphabet. Crazy. So what I want to say is books make me happy. And sometimes it's easier if you write out what you wanna say, but you leave a little space above for our secret code. So here we go. We are going to make this into a secret code. First letter is what? Right, B. So we go down to our chart. What number do you see here for B? The number two, that's right. So up here, we write the number two. What's next? Oh, we have O's, we have two of them. All right, let's go down to our handy chart. Here's O, what number do you see? 15, great. So we write 15 and 15 again. What's the next letter? K, right. So we go down to our list here. Do you see K? Might be a little tricky to see. Down over here at the end, we have 11. So we write down 11. What's next? S. Okay, so let's find our S. Here we go. Number 19. Great job. So we're at 19 up here. Let's find what letter is this? M. Let's go down here. Do you see M? There it is, number 13. Okay, so let's put 13 here. And you know for A, we started out with one, right? So we write down one. What's the next one? K, look, we already did K. So we can write down 11. And then we have, what letter is this? E, so let's find E. Number five. Wow, we have two words already coded. Next is me. So we already did the letter M, which is 13. We already did the letter E, and that is five. So write down five. What letter is this? H, very good. Let's find H. Here it is, number eight. Well, we know what A is, right? What is it? One. And then we have two P's in happy. So let's find where P is. It is right here, number 16. So let's write down 16 twice. Okay, Y, where is Y in the alphabet? Right near the bottom. So let's find, here we go. And that is number 25. Okay, now that we have 
all our numbers and letters figured out, we can write down what our code is just using the numbers. So we have a two and then two fifteens, 11, 19, make a big space so you know it's another word. We have 13, one, 11, five. Okay, the next line we have 13, five, big space for another word, eight, and then a one, and then a 16, 16, and 25. Whoa, isn't that cool? So if you wanted to send books make me happy as a secret message to a friend, you can just write down all of these numbers. And another way that you could keep track of what your secret code is, is if you use something that looks like this, which you can also find online. So you see our alphabet right here, and there are empty boxes right underneath them. So if you wanted to draw a picture for each letter, you can. If you wanted to just set each letter as a different letter, you can. You can put numbers there like we just did. Anything that you want. Secret codes can be a lot of fun. If you want to find out how Kayla and King solved the mystery of the secret code, you can check out the ebook from the download section of our website at denverlibrary.org. You can also place a hold on the book and make a reservation for curbside pickup. And if you want to read more books like King and Kayla, you can request a personalized reading list from a librarian who will choose books for you based on what you like to read. Just go to denverlibrary.org forward slash reads and fill out the form. Thanks for joining us today. We hope to see you soon at the library. Keep checking back every month for new videos. And if you want to find out the secret message that King and Kayla received, you'll have to check out the book. <laughs> Until then, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.